I think it's very important the, because we find out a person who, you, who would use tobacco would lose 10 to 15 years of life. And also we, we have seen the health risk associated with tobacco use has been uh, uh, increasing and uh, we wanted our students, faculty and staff to make a better choice. One of the first programs that we developed was the tobacco identification use, tobacco use identification. Uh, what is it? We screen every student who comes to the university health services to find out if they are tobacco users and uh, those of them who use tobacco, we provide assistance to them, working with insurance company to cover medication for them. And for those students who would not have health insurance, we provide free medication for them to quit. We have several resources on campus. First of all, we have a free medication for students who are tobacco users who don't have health insurance. And we also have a program with insurance company to cover medication for students and uh, we also have the Oklahoma tobacco helpline that's a great resource as well that our students can use and uh, we also have different program online that any of our students can go ahead and access and use and uh, we have been also sending uh, several email to our students and positive message you know and uh, videos of uh, uh, that content uh, advertising or anti-tobacco advertising videos. I think that the best choice would be not to ever start and uh, for those of them who are already using tobacco or smoking, we would like to encourage them to use the resources that we have on campus like free medication, like one-on-one uh, -on -one counseling or advice or coach and, and, uh, and also to set the like a high stand, health standard not only on campus but also many of them might be thinking about raising a family so I think that many of them would not like to have their kids breathing secondhand smoke by the time that they would be enjoying a good time with their parents.